you know, Pluto has not been a planet since 2006. My very eager mother just served us nine, what, pickles, pizzas, puddings? I don't care, it's very confusing for me, but uh, still sparking controversy, obviously. And now Cincinnati Observatory astronomer Dean Regas has written a book about that, and he is joining us now along with Wes Ryle, who's the director of the Thomas More Observatory. That's where Dean is holding a book signing and lecture this weekend. Gentlemen, good morning to you both. Good morning. Morning, good morning. Uh, let's just let's just start with the whole Pluto thing. Cause I know I know there's a lot of people who who just think of that saying, or maybe they enjoy the show Psych and they hear them talking about. Sure, what's up with Pluto? So what's up with Pluto and why the book now that we're, how many years, 16 years past this, this I change? Know, I know it's been almost 16 years since Pluto's demotion. And so now we say, my very educated mother just served us nachos. Oh! And now I know it's very controversial, <laughs> Pluto not being a planet, but this is kind of the theme of my book is that kids have moved on. They are, right. they are excited about learning about the mm -hmm. new solar system. And they still have their adults that are holding on to that uh, gl former glory. And so this is a book to kind of help the kids walk the parents through this oh, I trauma. Love that. I uh, so it's <laughs> illustrated and it gets some ideas of walking you through the stages of grief. And uh, I've already heard all the stages of grief from the adults about this book. So uh, it is a fun read. And oh, it's that's a, pretty great. Yeah, I, I have sort of entered that grumpy old man stage. You know what I mean? Where, you know, my kids will show me, you know, how they do a math problem now. And I'm like, how dare you? <laughs> you do it that way, that kind of thing. Uh, was that one of the reasons you wanted to have Dean out? Just because it's got sort of a, not only a, an interesting topic for your observatory, but also sort of a fun topic too? That's right. Um, so yeah, we've had Dean over for a few talks and he always draws a pretty good crowd. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, especially for Pluto. Um, from my perspective, for teaching students, yeah. I'm seeing that slow transition of students kind of caring a little bit less and less <laughs> about Pluto being demoted. When I first started teaching, it was a big deal. Yeah, we're, it was up in yeah. arms about now, it. Now right? they're, a little, they're a little iffy. So it's, it's slowly becoming access, uh, acceptable in the younger generation. One of the things you were mentioning about in the book is there are there are other things floating around out there that I, I don't know if they're the same size as Pluto or on similar orbits that maybe could have been considered planets back in the day. Absolutely, and uh, there's so many new things we've discovered, and that's the real thing is it's not because Pluto's small and because we didn't like it. We love Pluto. <laughs> it's because we found thousands of other things out there, and to keep Pluto a planet meant we had to put those other 2,000 things in there. And oh. so then... Oh, what would your educated say, mother be doing then? <laughs> you'd have to go and read this for a whole day. And then how are the <laughs> kindergartners going to memorize that? That's so, very true. So it's one of those things. And uh, the book also delves into the history of planets that have been kicked out of the Planet Club in the past, wow. including asteroids and... Uh, and even goes back as far when we didn't think the Earth was a planet. Oh, wow. Uh, so it, it's a really fun well, dive, cool. illustrated guide, and uh, we have personalities for all the planets. It's a lot of fun. It, sound, it sounds fun. And and I was asking you as well, you know, I, I'm not as familiar with the, the Thomas More Observatory mm -hmm. as I am with the Cincinnati Observatory. So just tell me a little bit about what you got going on over there. Yeah, so um, at the Thomas More Observatory, it's on Thomas More's campus right, yeah. right there in Crestview Hills, Kentucky. Um, we have regular monthly events where we have lectures, um, and usually if it's Clear afterwards, we have folks come up to the observatory and actually view things through the telescopes. Cool. Um, the event this weekend is Saturday, um, so after the Derby, um, we're going to have the book signing start around 7.30 in Steigerwald Hall in the Saint Center at Thomas More's campus. Uh, and then afterwards, again, if the weather's clear, which is looking a little iffy right now, yeah. we'll have a, a viewing. Um, we're also planning on having an event on Sunday, May 15th for a big uh, total lunar eclipse that's going to be happening uh, on that evening. And so we'll be open from 1030 to midnight on that evening for folks who want to view the eclipse. Very cool and very collaborative, obviously, which is, mm -hmm. a, which is a good thing. Um, speaking of collaborations, Dean, before I let you out of here, you got to tell me a little bit about your time out there, um, out, out west, uh, yes, keeping an eye on things uh, in the Grand Canyon. Last fall, I was the astronomer in residence at the Grand Canyon, so I was out there living in the canyon, at the canyon for a month, doing astronomy education, showing people the stars with telescopes. It was just incredible. Yeah. I, I, it, it's just a magical place and uh, I can't wait to go back again. We're doing a star party there. They have a week long star fest oh, wow. in June. So I'm going to go out there again and uh, do that. And it's just uh, so that's the thing is you can get people out into the dark skies. Yeah. I highly encourage it for your summer vacations. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Uh, last thing, and you have to reserve a spot to come on Saturday nope. or just kind of pop in? It's free, open to the public. Um, if you want more information, you go to thomasmore.edu slash observatory. Excellent. And that'll give you all the information. All right, Weston, great to see you both. Yep. Thanks for coming in. Best of luck with the event. I'm going to check out the book on Amazon and that kind of stuff. Uh, the book is coming out May 24th. May 24th. But you okay. can come to Thomas Moore and get an advanced copy, and I'll sign it there. Get it early. I'll mm -hmm. like it. All right. It's